gonna dance you if I show you my money. Are you gonna dance you if I show you the way? So the first thing I'm gonna do is to is to wash the hair. I'm gonna be co-washing it with um, a shampoo and a leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna leave a link to all the products I used in this video in the description box. So if you're wondering anything, just check the description box. And you can see while washing this hair, I noticed that there was no shedding at all. Like you know, seriously, I was really surprised. The hair didn't shed that much while I was washing it. It didn't shed at all, seriously. But something I noticed is that the wavy texture kind of went off after washing it. But that's not a problem to me because I'm going to coil it at the end of the day. So that's how I washed all the hair. Now I'm going to be using the dome cap, I'm going to put it on my mannequin head, position it properly and the first thing I like to sew down is my closure. I'm just putting it a little bit by the side because I want to have that kind of a side part. So the next step is for me to sew down my closure. I'm done sewing the closure. I'm gonna flip the closure, flip the dome cap. And then sew the bundle, the hair, round the cap, as you can see. I'm gonna be sewing the longest length at the back side, then the shortest length at the front side. So after sewing it, I'm going to flip it back and then start sewing the normal u part method. I just finished one bundle that's the 24 inches I'm gonna start with the other 24 inches the hair is really full and so far I'm loving this hair it doesn't really shed and it's just looking fine seriously and what I do is I do the fold of over method I don't cut my hair extensions especially when I love them so much so
So now I'm going to show you guys how I do the fold over method. So when I'm done, the last one I'll be installing, I'll just install it very close to the lace closure. I'm going to put the needle through the lace closure and the hair that I'm installing. So that's it guys. I'm done with sewing for now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the um, lace um, front. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess part in front of the lace. So now, I'm going to sew down the band and I'm sewing it very close to the lace closure. That way it's going to help when I put it on. It will help my um, lace closure to lay it flat very well. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So that is it for now. The next thing is for me to create my part properly. Trim the lace closure. Spray a little bit of water. I'm going to, now. I'm using NC45 um, Mac concealer to define the parts more. So I'm done with the wig so far. So you can see the part I created for the wig. I'm going to go ahead and put it on now for you guys to see. And I decided to hold the pin. I decided to use the pin to hold the front area so that to help that area to lay flat very well. I'm going to take it out very soon. I'm just making sure that the part, my part matches the hair, the wig's part. Now I'm taking out the pin brushing the hair I'm, I love this hair like seriously I love this hair now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my oil this kind of serves as a um, heat protectant because I'm gonna coil the hair so now I'm gonna Take a little bit of coconut oil, apply it on the hair, comb it through and then coil it. That's what I'm going to be doing all over the hair. So I'm just going to take strand by strand and keep coiling it. So if you guys are wondering, this hair is the hair I got from Peerless Virgin. It's the Peruvian body wave and so far so good. I'm loving this hair. I'm going to come back in, in a couple of weeks and you know tell you guys how the hair is holding up, how I'm loving this hair. So please stay tuned for that.
so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to support me by liking this video please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends bye